بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اور سیریز آن استخارہ یو ہیو لائکلی کم اکراس دا ٹرم استخارہ بیفور اینڈ مے ہیو ہرڈ ویریس پرسپیکٹیوز آن اٹ ود ان سوسائٹی استخارہ از اویلیبل ٹول فار بلیورس انیبلنگ دیم ٹو سیو گارڈ دیم سیلوس فرام پوٹینشیل سیٹ بیکس ان دیئر اینڈ اوورز دس سیریز کمپرائز ٹین ایپیسوڈس اینڈ ان شاء اللہ وی ول ڈیلو ڈیپ ان ٹو دا کانسیپٹ آف استخارہ gaining a profound understanding of its significance. In today's first episode, we will delve into the definition of istikhara, its reality within the Islamic context, and its profound significance. Moving forward to the second episode, we will unravel the purpose and wisdom behind istikhara. Episode 3 will be dedicated to the masnoon method of performing istikhara as Islam prescribes. In the fourth episode, We will discuss how many times istikhara should be performed and the signs of its acceptance and approval. The fifth episode will shed light on the reality of facing losses despite performing istikhara. In the sixth episode, we will address some prevalent misconceptions and common errors surrounding istikhara in our society. As we move to the seventh episode, we will investigate the legitimacy of seeking istikhara from someone else. Episode 8 will address fundamental misconceptions deeply intertwined with istikhara's practice. In the ninth episode, we will introduce another prescribed method of performing istikhara in urgent and time-constrained situations. Finally, in our concluding episode, we will uncover additional benefits and hidden wisdom within the practice of istikhara, inshallah. Let's formally commence this series. Istikhara is an act that not only shields individuals from tangible losses, but also draws them nearer to Allah by adhering to the sunnah. Regardless of a person's wisdom, intelligence, or experience, the potential for errors in their judgments and thoughts always exists. They might perceive beneficial things as harmful, or vice versa. In this context, Allah has provided guidance in the Noble Qur'an. Translation, it could be that you dislike something when it is good for you. And it could be that you like something when it is bad for you. Allah knows and you do not know. In today's episode, inshallah, we will delve into the definition of istikhara and explore why it holds such profound importance in Islam. The essence of istikhara lies in seeking goodness and blessings in our daily lives. It involves turning to Allah in all permissible matters, beseeching Him for guidance, blessings, and goodness in those matters. It is crucial to dispel the misconception that istikhara provides immediate knowledge or information about a particular issue. Throughout this series, We will thoroughly address various misconceptions stemming from this misunderstanding. Istikhara is a prescribed sunnah act and its method and supplication have been transmitted in the narrations from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the messenger of Allah instructed us to perform istikhara in every matter just as he used to teach us chapters of the Quran. He emphasized, whenever any of you intends to do something, let them pray two rak'ah of prayer. Subsequently, the supplication of istikhara was taught, which will be covered in detail in episode 3, inshallah. This hadith emphasizes a key point. The honorable companions equated the teaching of istikhara with the method by which the Quran was imparted to them. Consequently, Grasping its importance becomes a straightforward task. Likewise, another hadith conveys, finding contentment in Allah's decree is the joy of a human being. Neglecting istikhara is the misfortune of a human being, and harboring discontentment with Allah's decree is the misfortune of a human being. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah wisely stated, A person who seeks goodness from Allah, seeks advice from others, and steadfastly abides by their decision, will never find themselves in a situation of regret. Numerous ahadiths affirm that an individual who maintains a close connection with Allah consistently seeks goodness and blessings from their Lord in every circumstance, 
and implores for success and prosperity in all their endeavors will never be forsaken by Allah. Instead, He orchestrates their affairs and bestows blessings upon their sustenance, lifespan, wealth, and family. A defining trait of a true believer is their instinct to turn to Almighty Allah in every situation, beseeching goodness and blessings. Consequently, even their misguided endeavors are rectified, leading them to experience nothing but goodness and divine favor. Inshallah, in the upcoming episode, we will briefly explore the purpose and wisdom behind istikhara.